Last time I gave crumbs. He made us worship it. Every day, he made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. What the f***? Who wrote this? Yeah, I know. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what am I shaking my head, Dan? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aaron was just shaking his head relentlessly with his eyes tightly shut. <sighs> and uh, now you look good. Now you look ready. Thanks, Daddy. Okay, let's continue. Here we go. Yep. We found a note that said, to the murderer. So I'm going to present it to Michael. His name's Max. Why did His I say Michael? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe you're doing shopping at Michael's. <laughs> Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. I love murder. <laughs> Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? I guess it wasn't really company. It was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, run the world is red on that damn thing. Let's see. Oh, that. Why would. Whatever, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Like in the tailcoat pocket of the ringmaster's coat. Right. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Uh, sure. My snuggle wump it's sugar lump. Yeah, sure. My fiddly faddly biddly baddly hiddly haddly doodly daddly. Please stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fiddly faddly biddly baddly diddly doodly hiddly hoodly. That's right. That's right. That's what it was. Uh, it's been a minute. Let's examine something, shall we? Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the tailcoat. What could it possibly be? You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. The guy from The Simpsons? Let's hurry up and... Mo Sislak just shows up in a Phoenix Wright game. I think I might have killed her. <laughs> <laughs> then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. I knew it all along. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. To get murdered. Tonight at 10 p.m. That's when the murder took place. No, that's that's when the practice concluded. Mm. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Wait, so the, did the ringmaster kill somebody else? I don't know. All right. Is that the suggestion there? I don't know. Right. Yeah, I guess there was a murder before the murder. Like right. a, a pre-murder... Pre, it was pre murder -tated. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I wish I was dead, usually. Lodging House Plaza. Watch up. <laughs> You're awfully close right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe always feels like he's standing a foot too close. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But with Miss Von Karma. Anyway, I got a beep. <laughs> Nick, what's that? Something's about to explode! Get down! <laughs> oh my god! It's Miss Von Karma! Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. <laughs> she's whipping me through my beeper! <laughs> Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick! She ya, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast! So much for being a flatfoot! What? <laughs> Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. The winds is biting his ow. Jesus Christ! Oh, it's biting his lashes from a whip. Like, she should definitely be in jail, <laughs> like for all the whipping. Von, 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 Karma. She really did appear. It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? 
Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? Ha <laughs> ha, fucking got him. Ha ha ha, national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. Why? We're fucking investigating a circus murder. <laughs> what do you think? You're that fucking great? I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Well, I guess I'll chit-chat with her. Yeah, she seems chill. Miss Von Karma, it appears that you got your hands onto something big, huh? Huh. I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called to as a witness as we speak. It is the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me? Oh my god, that sounds awesome. Aaron, take it easy. I can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. But I'll worry about her more. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. Oh, shit. Damn, why do you keep bringing that up? <laughs> my dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course! Your dad! I know you miss him! Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of vip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this or any other conversation? Huh. Then, then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again one more time. <gasps> Edgeworth! <laughs> him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeverse. He's mine, bitch! <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth. Let's talk about Miles for a second. Miles Edgeworth, why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma! Exactly right. It was my papa. My papa. <laughs> that means the Edgeworth was... Right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. But he's older than you. <laughs> Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, get it together, dude. <laughs> Nick? Stop gooning. God, I almost forgot what he looked like. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. He's got kind of a silly looking face from that angle. I fought against him in a few cases. His big ass fucking mouth. But a little after that case was over, he vanished. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I, I... Nick! W w why that letter? Why not E? <laughs> what does she mean? Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then, with the case after that one... He decided never to kiss me again. I know, right? He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. My lines. He left me so many nudes. <laughs> All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. It looked like balls. <laughs> it's just like a really blurry, gross, zoomed in picture of like sweaty balls. I miss you so much, Edgeworth. <laughs> Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, his balls thrive. I know! <laughs> you and me, we're not so different after all! <laughs> prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. I don't know, I just won a case against him. Just like your I... victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. Maybe you guys should be better fucking prosecutors. I'm going to find him. And then, I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. 
Nick! <laughs> Nickelodeon! Um, about Mr. Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick! Miss Von Karma? What? I don't know if you're in God's gift to pro if you're God's gift to- I don't know if you're good or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him too! What? what in the world happened? Hmph. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Uh, you think I'm a dog? Awesome. <laughs> Just because I can't get it up? Ever? Ever? <laughs> Did Edward tell you that? Did he tell you that I can't get it up ever? <laughs> Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick! Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> Acro's room. Oh. Whoa. Fuck is this guy? He did it. He looks way too nice. You must be Phoenix Wright. Yes. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. <laughs> Is there a problem with my name? Ken Dingling. Ken Dingling. <laughs> well, here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? So how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you definitely show up here. He primed me to not say anything to you. Akko, you're a member of this circus as well? That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. Just get off me. Just fuck off me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. Oh, he's in a wheelchair. All I perform I didn't even in is my... Oh. All I perform in is my wheelchair. I didn't even see it. Very big circus. Ac yeah, I don't see wheelchairs, so... <laughs> Acro, why did you join the circus? I was trying to get away from a flock of birds following me and pecking at me constantly. I thought a life on the move would do the trick. Nope, no such luck. When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all. Without me. He has way too happy a face to be relating a sad tale. I know. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. So I killed him. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver, except for his own life. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. Kill him. <laughs> I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look at how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Uh, I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute! She's truly a princess! Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Huh, do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? I'm the only princess here. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? Because my legs don't work. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the nerves in my legs were badly damaged. Whoops, whoops. And you can't walk now? Very, very observant, detective. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even stand now. Uh. And since I live on the third floor, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful! They should really up the fucking wheelchair accessibility standards in this building. Yeah, this is 2006 after all. <laughs> the accident happened during the acrobatic session, right? Um. Whoa. Uh. Oh, oh. here we go. He's wearing like a She-Ra Princess of Power headband. I know. Very cool. Very Metro. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. Perhaps they were bat related. <laughs> What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, I saw three psychic locks appear before you. Yeah. Implying I, that you're lying to me. Exactly. I was hoping I could 
break down your psyche and uh, make you tell me the truth in a mentally disturbing way. You got it. <laughs> Let's do this. Exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago? What in the world went on at this circus then? Was that when... What's this fuck got a raise? Or was that six weeks ago? I can't remember. It was six something ago. Who, Max? Yeah. Huh. It was, it was... Oh, yeah. That's right. I think that was weeks, though. I yeah. think. I could be wrong, though. I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Well, mur hospitals can't do anything for a murder. <laughs> of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded real ominous. I saw the ringmaster at the end of my club being whacked. <laughs> what did you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see! The, cr the scene of the crime was right below your window! That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? A fucking murder. <laughs> the Babadook. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, yeah. he was flying straight up into the air. Hello, Acro. He? <laughs> Maximilian Galactica. What the? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying? I'm absolutely sure. Unless I am, in fact, the murderer. Yep. There is no doubt in my mind. Nick! It's a, it, is a, it is a pretty convincing alibi that he has broken legs. Yeah, maybe he has like a like a pulley system that like raises him up into his window. Oh my god, you're so right. That's exactly what it is. You think so? Right outside of his window. Uh, yeah, it would make sense. Totally. Um, That's why his feet never touched the floor because he was dangling the whole time. No, Aaron. Dang. Um, fucking done. Wow, we figured that out all by our smart selves. Yeah. All right. Let's anyway, let's unfold that slowly over <laughs> yeah. ten thousand agonizing lines of dialogue, <laughs> <laughs> and let the game really spell it out for us. It looks like the tigers, the lions, going like Max Galactica. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Grr. I've got a bad feeling about this. Grr. Grr. Wonderful. Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix. That sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. This is so, uh, Regina. Oh, stay, stay here. <laughs> stay, stay. I'm sparkling. <laughs> oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. Yeah. I think her voice changes every time I try to do it. But uh, I... That's close to what it was. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A m m m mistake. Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson, but I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? <laughs> Let's talk. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. You know, your dad, who was murdered. Whatever. Dad? I had a dad? <laughs> Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad, and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A, a star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. Or one of the stars floating around my head at all times. <laughs> That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. It's wrong, but it's sweet. Yeah. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Shit, I forgot she can read minds. <laughs> what do you, th do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. Of course you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. You really think so? I mean, you haven't surrounding you enough. <laughs> yeah, you will, I think. 
I got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. No? <laughs> Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you. It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, um, wow, a literal, um, actually. Yeah. It's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. We should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Wow. It must have sequins on it. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Uh, <laughs> I'll get it for you. Leave it alone, guys! I guess there's no turning down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it! <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Yay! Max wanted me to present this fucking thing to her. Reg Regina, have you ever <laughs> seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? Hmm, I guess I noticed that it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I'd go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realized the piece of paper was in your pocket? So Acro put it in his pocket. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yup. <laughs> but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. Then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble. Nothing sadder than a murderer in trouble. All right, listen, if Acro is the murderer, mm -hmm. I'm going to be pretty pissed off. Because, like, you know, I feel like you should have the, the suspect. Oh, they've done that before, within, though. Like, a reasonable they've, they've, amount of they've time. introduced the murder suspect pretty late in I, cases before. Have they? Yeah. I, I can't think of the specific instance, but I, I remember thinking exactly this thought. Like, oh, this is the person who did it. That's pretty fucking cruel. <laughs> you didn't put in the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did. I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Huh, so it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. That explains everything. I wonder who wrote this. No, 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 no. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Cool. Who's gonna talk to me next? Who's gonna talk to me next? No, I gotta, I gotta keep talking to her. Okay. Some more shit to show her. Okay. That's Papar, isn't it, from the cafeteria? Huh? It's from the cafeteria. It's not. I remember saying it there. Huh? So this was the cafeteria's pepper. Case closed. Yeah. You know, I'm not a big fan of Pepper. Okay. Good talk. Jesus. Find inside the wooden box the victim was hunched over. Alright. Alright, let's go to... Talk to Mo. Cause why not? You love him, I love him. <laughs> he is my least favorite in a long line of least favorites. Well, he has a ton of costumes, so he might have her hot costume. Oh. Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. That's a monkey. Fucking monkey. Nick, it's money. <laughs> Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a fucking monkey. <laughs> that monkey's holding something. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Do you think if I mash this monkey into a coin store, it'll give me anything back? <laughs> Let's try it. Give it back, monkey. Brain, Brain. stay, or ooh, ooh, scratch, scratch. Oh man, such good choices. What do you fucking think, dude? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, scratch, scratch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh? <laughs> <laughs> Wah, ooh, ooh. Wah, ah, ah. Yikes! Wah! Well, shit. I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're pretty in the bus ending. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. Don't get fucking close to this vest, this <laughs> tiny vest, which I love so much. You know what I mean? I really want to try with Jesus' costume. 
Maybe then they'll take you at, in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. What? Huh. What's the matter now? You were thinking something really mean at me. <laughs> it doesn't fit me at all. Oh, well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Jesus Christ. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Darn, well, I'm smiling after that I can't conversation. Fit into this, yeah, this monkey vest. Gee, well, maybe lose a couple pounds. <laughs> Phoenix? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, Regina. Here's your fucking vest back. Here you go, Regina! Oh, it's her vest. Yeah. Got it, sorry. I thought it was the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You really got it back from my... Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Well, uh, okay. It's nothing. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Dude, Japan. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hey, Regina! That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? The lion? You know, the lion she told us about. He's fucking dead. He's dead, Nick. Oh, the one that someone killed. Let me say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make the vibes in here immaculate. <laughs> Right. Let's go to the fucking cafe, bro. See what's cooking. Amazing. Something smells fantastic. So Monkey we... burgers. <laughs> so, we know... <laughs> <laughs> so we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bistro Cirque, du... the Bistro du Cirque, aka the cafeteria. Mm, it smells so good in here. And those burgers are great! She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best! Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce, and the burgers are great too! <laughs> they are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven! I bet! I can tell them by the smell! Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. I guess I'll talk to this fuck. <laughs> now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you gonna do? Continue making burgers out of him! <laughs> That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Akro's story, haven't you? Like, like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Akro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on murdering people. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. Jesus. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoes. Oh, you think you could fill those shoes? I'm gonna be a cobbler. <laughs> what? Really? You're gonna be a cobbler? That's <laughs> fucking crazy. Max would still be an issue, though. Yes, it would. Max! <laughs> he may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo! All this <laughs> Money! Mo problems! <laughs> um, all that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy? You know? What is he talking about? The murder. <laughs> oh, of, God. Of the person it. they're talking about. Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it! It's nothing! Nothing at all! He must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it! You're right, girly! I don't know if he's talking about now that. Now he's talking about the other murder, I guess. Yeah. Dang, dang, dang! Correct him, Undo! Doesn't he mean ding? Mo, I mean, no disrespect here, but... Fuck you? Yeah. Are you lying to us? Egg! No! Not at all! What makes you think that? Just the way you said, if everyone can get over the tragedy, seemed a bit... strange? I don't know. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. <laughs> Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Oh, not you two. I'm gonna unlock this fucking clown. Well, he's only got two. Got him. So now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. That was the acro accident. Oh, yeah. 
Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. That's funny. Yeah. I don't care who you are. He's implying he wears diapers. Yeah, he shits himself. Six months ago, eh? Well, I guess that's all we have to talk about. Get over it. Fucking see ya. Oh, wait. Do I have enough? Oh, I might have enough to get him. Really? Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> Alright, motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> Throws on boxing gloves. <laughs> Get over it. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? Okay, okay. There's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Ah, uh, boy, that made him a sad clown. <laughs> no. I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Don't tell me you're vegan. Chicken uh, vegan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he only eats seitan. Actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? Uh, I'm assuming... What would be the cause of that accident? Um... They said it wasn't acrobat related? Maybe the pepper? Oh, was it fucking Leon? Do I... Does he have a... Who's Leon? The... <laughs> He's the fucking tiger. Oh, the lion? Yeah. Oh. The lion, yeah. Sorry. Uh... Do I have anything? The monkey? No, not the monkey. Okay. Do I have anything about Leon? Oh, I guess I don't. Maybe Regina because she's Leon's, like, ringmaster keeper? Maybe. What about this? Looks tasty! What? What are you talking about? You know, the burgers. Oh. Good save. It looks like I shot a blank on that attempt. Okay. Alright. Dang. I guess I don't have what Leon do you need? in my... What do you say? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right. I don't have enough evidence. Do I need to talk more to Regina? I, I mean, she would be the person to get Leon info. From oh. Him. Yeah, there you go. Jesus Christ. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Oh, that's the murder. Sick. Why? I guess my dad was hungry? <laughs> well, dad, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice, we almost sat it down, and then he opened his mouth. You know, gaw. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Maya, this isn't going to be a fun story. <laughs> yeah. Usually, when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, what was that bad thing? Oh, yeah. Leon bit someone during that practice. R Regina! Everything was alright though, right? Nah, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. Oh, did Leon bite Acro's legs? Uh -huh. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. <laughs> Poor. <laughs> All right, now we can go to the fucking cafeteria and talk to this mother. Budger! Time to unlock this clown. I know about the dead lion. All right, you mother fudger. Get ready to stop fudging your mother. All right, easy now. <laughs> All right. Present you a little thing called... Le Leon, 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 the, Leon, the entire lion, Leon, Leon, the whole lion. I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you? I told him so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts, like putting a head inside Leon's mouth, right? That was your line, I'm sorry. <laughs> the clown was, he looked like he was talking. <laughs> yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along 
He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Wouldn't that be pronounced Leon? Le Leon? With oh, the like accent Leon mark? the professional? Yeah. I could be wrong. We'll keep saying Leon. Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite in the, on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this the person you promised you wouldn't say anything? Acro? Fucking Acro, bro. Yeah, man. Perhaps it's the person who has crippling nerve damage. Yeah, it must have been Acro, right? How did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. It's the only thing that makes sense. No, no, no. How did you figure that out, Mo? I, I, I guess because two plus two equals four. Yeah. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. This guy has been like the most unreliable dude in the fucking entire game series. Yeah, yeah. I've... I've really hated, I've really hated this. <laughs> Just hanging out with them. Something about clowns. Something about clowns make me, makes me very uncomfortable. Always has been the case. Yeah. Uh, it's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. Cool. What? How could you say it's been better? He's still alive, but when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. What? Co coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. Um... What? Brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, <laughs> I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. Okay. <laughs> um, who was that gross younger brother? His name's fucking Bat. Sean Dingling. <laughs> but everyone always calls him Bat. He fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love was his downfall. Oh my god. Fucking, can people just knock it off with that? Yeah. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon. Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. Doesn't this make him look like he's like from a Goofy movie? Yes. Like He's got like one of the, like, the cute goof noses? Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm just gonna show it, huh? What's the problem? <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. God, it was funny. <laughs> it was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. Like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> he was smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Oh, did he like not any not want anyone near Regina? Some sick grin. No way, that's impossible! Cats can't smile! A smirking lion, a flying murderer. This is the best case ever! <laughs> Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Well, I didn't actually see it, but I more thought about it later. Yeah. And then told you about it as like a lie. Mm -hmm. Nick, can lions smile? Um. We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. Cool. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. A lion burger! Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Website. Nice! What a wonderful sneeze! Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel? That's basic clownsmanship. Girly, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, yeah, I think I'd make a good clown. I know you would. <laughs> Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again, please. Yeah. Now Into again. the microphone this time. <laughs> <laughs> does Regina sneeze? Does Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does. I Matt, would know. Matt would always tease her with Pepper. Matt. From my point of view, those two always looked so perfect together. <laughs> Matt and I had a website together. I've said too much. Clownfeet.net. <laughs> <laughs> they looked perfect together, huh? All right. Well, that's some fucking news. Oh my god. This is absolutely what clownpenis.fart would have come from. <laughs> wow. So true. Well, let's talk to her about Bat, then. What do you think about this person? Oh. So I'm not- uh, oh, alright. She's being a fucking dick. She's being a dickhead! Alright, I guess I should go talk to Acro about his brother, then. Okay, fair enough. Uh... Let's go over here! Why isn't there fucking fast travel, dude? I mean, there kind of is. Why do I have to remember the fucking route of everything? Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Ah, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? <laughs> You're thinking of Arnold Schwarzenegger from the movie Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have said I'll be back in Kindergarten He might have actually said that too. I was just, I'm like, what movie didn't he say? What about Junior? Remember Junior? Collateral the movie where damage. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets pregnant? Yeah, that was great. I feel like Arnold himself would want you to not remember that. No way. No, he's way into that shit. Probably. We're back because Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well, well. It seems you know things that I know that you know. It seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. All right. Where are you on the night of the <laughs> Yeah. How uh, do you keep up with this awesome upper body strength? Oh, I guess I can unlock his shit now. Yeah, yeah. That's the only I mean, option. That's, yeah. The birds the are birds like, oh shit. Away. <laughs> oh my god. Emotional distance. About the wheelchair. Oh, you want to talk about that? You want? Okay, yeah, let's fucking go. I have to ask you, how are you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Well, he's not lying. Yeah, it's sort of true. Yes, unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. Lion related? He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> if that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep a secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? What about... Leon! Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. Mm. That's a killer face right there, dude. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay. <laughs> when would I encounter a lion? What do you think I work at? A circus? <laughs> okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. And who was that someone? Who could it be but the clown? Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mmm. Mmm. Mo. He must have told you. I'll fucking kill that clown. <laughs> yes, we learned from Bat about Mo. I mean, we learned about Bat from, from Mo. Yeah, yeah. All right. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. He's not a fucking tattletale, dude. Yeah. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. I'll slip his fucking tongue. Yeah. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together. That's just where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's last psych lock. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. <laughs> wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro. Oh. 
I know you are still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. Mm. Gee, I wonder who it could possibly mm. be. Uh, you all right? Hold on. <laughs> Because <laughs> Bat likes her. Right. Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she's cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. Yeah, I've got legal eyes. Because I'm a fucking lawyer. <laughs> yeah. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Yeah, fucker almost got me, dude. <laughs> Ha ha ha. He wasn't serious, I'm sure. All right, dude. Come on. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? I don't know. You tell me. Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina is incapable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it for Re out for Regina all along. Hmm, what would it be? Duh, the murder thing. The note. Oh, oh. Because he, he slipped it in her pocket. Yes. This, where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Right after she gave you food. I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I was taking Akro his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Right. Yeah, they don't call me Mr. Wrong, dude. <laughs> You've broken down the walls of my heart. Now we must kiss. Kiss me. Yeah. <laughs> Unlock successful. Hell Congratulations. Yeah. And next time on Game Grumps, we will continue with a question about a wheelchair. Hell yeah. Bye, everybody. Goodbye for now. Mwah. Mwah. All right.